The other part of compatibility I'll go into is steppers by servos by air cylinders. The reason I'm going to say air cylinders is if I go into a job and all day long all they're doing is pushing a part in, you know, and they're using an air cylinder. And, and you say, oh, you want a servo to do that? Why do you want a servo? If it's a freaking air cylinder, why don't you just keep using an air cylinder? Okay? There must be something why, as to why they would want to replace that air cylinder with a servo or a step. Okay? How many people here have replaced pneumatics with something electrical? Yep. Give me a good reason why you would do it. There's a lot more going away from having system air facilities that are running plant air to a bunch of different machines, and you have to have, you know, water separators, cleaners, dryers, and all that other stuff, okay? And, and some gigantic 60 horsepower air compressor from the other end of the building, okay? So people are trying to get away from that. Multiple positions is one. Well, if you think about it, if all they're trying to do is the same thing they always did with an air cylinder, but they need more positions, they could possibly use a step, okay? Now, I'm one of those guys that I'm an engineer, not a salesman. If they don't need a smart motor, and I see a cheaper way to do it, I'm gonna ask them why it is they didn't do it this way. Not, not necessarily in those words, but I wanna find out what it is they need a servo for. Do they really need it? What you don't wanna do is put a servo in where it should not be used. Now, it's one thing if it's a price thing and it's just too expensive, you're not gonna try to sell it anyway. It's another thing if it's going to cause other issues. For instance, a servo will hunt to try to get to the position where it's a step or one. It'll just get there and sit. It may not necessarily get to the right position, but once it gets there, it just sits. Okay? So there may be a hunting issue with a servo. Okay? A servo vice a stepper, we use our motor vice a stepper, servos can go very high speed, but their acceleration is not near as good as a stepper. And except a, a stepper, although they can't go fast, if they can get up to 200 RPM, they can get to 200 RPM faster than we can. But they can't get to 2,000 RPM. So we can get to 2,000 RPM, but we can't get to 200 as fast as they can. So what is the real application about? Is it about overall top speed, <coughs> or is it about getting to the speed you need very quickly? There is no freaking servo on the market that can out-accelerate a stepper. I'll tell you that right now. Steppers can out accelerate any servo on the market. Okay? But steppers don't have that much power because their top end speed is not that high. Okay? So think about that when you're looking at the application. What do they really need? Okay? Servos are better for longer moves. Really short moves that are only like one inch at a time or two or three millimeters at a time. Steppers work far better.